Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. We are a bit behind. We want to apologize for that. We have been having a major wave of people trying to get their readings. It could be because of what's going on right now uh, with the virus and everything. I hope every one of you guys is being safe and your families as well. Anyways, let's get into your reading, Aries. This is going to be for you, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the remaining of May going into June 2020. So let's see what Spirit has for you guys. All right, Aries, you have patience, inner peace, and love. Okay, wow. These are, I believe, the exact same cards that came out for Scorpio. For Scorpio, yeah. Um, what in the world? Wow, okay. I'm a little bit thrown back right now. All right. So, Aries, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, definitely check out the reading as I do see some cards that came out in the Scorpio reading, which is very, very odd because in the Scorpio reading, there were some cards that came out in the Leo reading. Anyways, okay. All right, Aries, your card is patience, inner peace, and love. Your partner or person of your interest has enlightenment, taking risk, and release. Okay, so for some of you, Aries, um, you may have gotten to the point of feeling like you're giving up or feeling like you're going to surrender to the universe and see where it leads you. Now, patience is a very positive card, but I see it like I sense it in the reverse. So it could signify that there was a situation where you kind of just gave up on the person you were dealing with. Um, to find your inner peace. So perhaps there is some instability or inconsistency in regards to the person of your interest. And you kind of either gave up or you didn't want to deal with that anymore. So you are or have been currently in search of your inner peace and self-love. And I think that's very important for any person because the moment you're able to be comfortable with yourself and being alone, and really taking care of yourself and putting effort um, and pouring all that love that you have to yourself, that's when you're able to pull in the person that is more ideal, the person that is going to reflect that same self-love um, to lead you to a healthy relationship. And that's definitely a very positive. Now, the cards that are reflecting the person of your interest or the person that you're dealing with is enlightenment. And taking risk. I think that uh, the person that you were dealing with or perhaps still dealing with is definitely going through, they're kind of facing or dealing their inner demons, um, whether it be, whether it be in a metaphorical speaking, uh, metaphorical way, or whether it's them really releasing. I think that there is a lot of things that this person is carrying from their past. Now, this could have been betrayals this could have been deceit uh this could have been even feeling like they were taken constantly taken uh taken for granted and there is a lot of fear this person has built a wall of protection around them um but i think that they are on the path of enlightenment and understanding that sometimes it's necessary for us to let go of things from our past. It's something necessary that we must do, not for others, but for ourselves. And I think that this person is currently on that journey. Um, if you felt at some point that they weren't really reciprocating or wanting to put effort, I do see them taking risks with the taking risk cards. And that's indication of perhaps them coming to the terms or understanding um, that it's not that it's no longer you the one that is reaching out or that is putting effort uh, in regards to this connection. So they may actually step out of their comfort zone and may be the one to reach out or maybe the one to be looking for you or trying to make conversation. Um, the release is a signifier of them being ready or stepping into uh, a new cycle in their life where they're able to release and let go of past traumas 
or past relationships or things that they are or have been currently dealing with or caring from past relationships. So this is definitely a good thing because I think that in the grander picture, what they're saying here is that this person could have been very disconnected, um, perhaps even expecting for other people to cater to them. Um, and it wasn't ill intended. It wasn't like there was any there wasn't any malice behind it. It was just that they've created this wall, like I said, of protection where it's like, I've been hurt so much and I'm not going to go through that anymore. So people are going to have to jump through hoops or prove to me that they're worthy of my time, that type of thing. But I don't think it was coming from a bad place. I think that they were just tired of being hurt. Um, and you may have interpreted that, that in the sense of this person could be like, they're confused. They don't know what they want. So I'm just going to walk out of this um, and see what happens. Um, and I do definitely see them coming back around or trying to make communication happen, uh, perhaps more receptive. Um, here's the thing. What they're telling you here is if this person is genuinely someone that you really care for, Aries, when that reaching out happens, try the best you can not to be very judgmental. Uh, we all carry demons. We all carry baggage from our past. I think that uh, sometimes it takes years for someone to be able to let go or release of that. Um, and I think that you yourself, Aries, may be carrying some of that energy as well as you do have the inner peace and the patience card. So those two cards definitely signify in the search of or in the path of releasing uh, what no longer serves you in order to find your inner peace. So again, I think both of you guys are currently going through uh, a similar situation, although circumstances may be very different. Um, but I think that ultimately what they're saying here is that both of you guys are elevating uh, to a higher vibration. And I think that timing is of uh, very important in this reading for you uh, or for your partner. Uh, what they're saying here is that timing has everything to do with it. Perhaps in the past you guys weren't ready. Uh, perhaps there is, like I said, there is this, you know, similarities in what you guys are currently going through. Perhaps not the same circumstances, but ultimately uh, it is to guide you and to help you raise to a higher vibration. I think that's what they're doing as well. So basically, uh, Aries, be patient in this situation and try not to be so just mental. This could be vice versa, you guys. It is a general reading. So it could be that you're the one that uh, walked out of that connection. And, you know, in, in, in retrospect, it could be that both of you guys are going through similar situations where you're going to be able to get on the same page or to understand or even have some type of respect for one another. Uh, because of what you've overcome in the past. So I hope this helps you. I hope it gave you some type of clarity and we'll see each other soon. Bye.